So a year ago, I bought a trailer in a senior citizen's trailer park here in Joshua Tree, California. It's a 50-year-old trailer that sat in the same spot, and since it's a senior citizen's home, people go there and that's where they pass, that's where they die. After I'd lived there for four or five months, I was sitting on the couch in the front room, and as I looked out the glass door to where the entrance is, I saw a man, an older man, sitting outside the door looking as if he was wanting to knock and come in. Since I live in an old people's park, I thought it was one of the old folk neighbors that wanted to talk to me. And so I got up, went over to the door and opened it and there was no one there. There was absolutely no people. It was just about sunset and so I looked around to see if someone was there and had walked away and there was no one. I asked the neighbor about it, who's quite a bit older, the 90-year-old neighbor Norman, and he said the man who had lived in that trailer, who had died in the trailer before me, was a kind of round fella who wore a cap all the time and who had a little bit of a mental thing and he, had, he would rock when he sat. And so I'm pretty positive it was that person who had lived in the house wanting to come back in the house. A few months later, which was maybe three or four months ago, it was sunset again and I'm standing in the living room looking out the front window. And as I looked, I thought I saw someone walking, a female walking from in front of the house. As I looked though, it was just a glow and the figure stopped where the window stopped. So I turned around to look and I, what I was seeing was a reflection of a glowing silhouette of a woman who wasn't walking but was floating through the closed side door, through the hallway, and into the bathroom behind me in, my, in the reflection. And I turned just to see the, it glow go into the bathroom. I, I thought it was extraordinary and the next day when neighbors came over, I told them about it and went through the motions, showed them what I had seen. And after I told them, they said, one of the women said, Whoa, that's something. I wonder where she is now. As soon as she spoke those words, very distinctly, on my porch railing, the three of us hear a, a, a knock. A, may I come in? There's somebody at your door now. Knock. We laughed, thinking, oh, how, what timing it was that someone comes to the door right when we were talking about a ghost. I went to the door opened it and there was no one there. I went outside and walked around, there was no one there. The answer to the question of where is she now was, I am here. The, the spirit, the ghostly spirit knocked and said, I am here. And the three of us heard it as clear as you can hear my voice right now.